Welcome again. <clears throat> this is Muhumza Naftar, sciences.com. Please always remember to subscribe. Remember to like the video and to share to others. We want to talk about today on cholesterol synthesis. We want to see how cholesterol is synthesized in the body. And the precursor of cholesterol synthesis is acetyl-CoA. As we know that acetyl-CoA is always the meeting point of all metabolic processes. So today we want to look at how do we synthesize this cholesterol from acetyl-CoA. And this cholesterol, its scientific name is known as cyclopentanol perhydrophenanthrine, which is made up of a cyclic ring, and it is made up of these four cyclic rings, and it is made up of 27 carbon. So cholesterol is made up of 27 carbon units. So I want to see how do we form these 27 carbon units in the cholesterol. And as I have told you that we begin with acetyl-CoA, and when we have two, if we have two molecules of acetyl-CoA, they are converted to HMG-CoA, whereby HMG-CoA is, is known as beta hydroxy beta hydroxy methyl glutyl glutyl coa <coughs> excuse me so this beta hydroxy methyl glutyl coa is co-formed from two units of acetyl coa and it occurs in the cytosol this process occurs in the cytosol of major liver cells and intestines. Majorly it occurs in intestines and liver cells in the cytosol. So when we have two molecules of acetyl-CoA, it is converted to HMG-CoA in the presence of an enzyme known as HMG synthase. So this HMG synthase is the one that joins two molecules of acetyl-CoA and we form HMG-CoA. And HMG-CoA is formed by addition of another acetyl-CoA, which well, that's why we are saying two molecules. And after forming this HMG-CoA in the cytosol of the liver cells or in the intestines, it is converted to mevalonate. And we, how do we convert it to mevalonate? We need an enzyme known as HMG reductase. HMG reductase enzyme is the one that reduces HMG-CoA to mevalonate. And this enzyme, we shall see that people who are having hyperlipidemia, we give, we give them drugs like statins. And these statins target this enzyme. So statins, which are given star statins, which are given to patients with hyperlipidemia, high cholesterol, and high triglycerides. You need to give them statins, and these statins target enzyme HMG reductase. That whenever I'm given statins, like river statin, those statins, they come and inhibit the conversion of HMG-CoA to mevalonate, hence stopping the process of cholesterol synthesis. So whenever you are a doctor and a lot of people do lipid profile and you find they are high, that is always for total cholesterol greater than 240 and triglyceride greater than 200 milligrams per deciliter. We can give them statins and also we encourage them to do exercise and stop foods that are, food that are full of cholesterol like egg yolk, like this white meat is full of cholesterol. So this HMG reductase reduces HMG-CoA, what we call beta hydroxymethyl glutyl coa to mevalonate. And this mevalonate in, within the cytosol of the liver, it undergoes 
different processes of phosphorylation it undergoes several processes of phosphorylation we see several processes of phosphorylation and decarboxylation decarboxylation whereby phosphorylation it involves use of ATP and of course this ATP is hydrolyzed to ADP to AMP and in presence of magnesium as a cofactor so it undergoes into several steps several series of phosphorylation and decarboxylation and we form isoprenoid unit and these isopentyl or you can call them isopentyl for pyrophosphate because this ATP is hydrolyzed to AMP plus a pyrophosphate that's why we call it isopentyl pyrophosphate so isoprenoid units these are made up of five carbon compound it is a five carbon so we are going to see that these isoprenoid units which are formed let me zoom them this side these isoprenoid units they are converted fast to geranyl pyrophosphate and this geranyl pyrophosphate is formed whereby we combine two isop isoprenoid units whereby we combine two and we know that it is the five carbon sugar so when we combine two isoprenoid units we are able to form a 10 carbon compound which is known as geranyl pyrophosphate it is it is formed by combination of two isoprenoid units to form geranyl pyrophosphate which is a 10 carbon compound and of course when we have geranyl pyrophosphate it is converted it is converted and goes also series of decarboxylation and it is converted by addition of another isoprenoid unit so on this stage we add another isoprenoid unit which is a 5 carbon and this is already 10 carbon so we form a 15 carbon so you get geranyl pyrophosphate which is a 10 carbon unit or substance you add another isoprenoid unit which is a 5 carbon and we form a 15 carbon which is known as the phenyl pyrophosphate all these processes are occurring in the cytosol of the liver after forming phenyl pyrophosphate in the cytosol we shall combine two molecules of phenyl so two molecules of phenyl combine that is 15 plus 15 you get a 15 carbon plus a 15 carbon we shall get squarene which is a 30 carbon compound so two molecules of phenyl pyrophosphate they combine together to form squarene and this squarene is a 30 carbon is a 30 carbon substances which can undergo and this squarene is a linear chain it is linear so we need now to cyclize the way we saw here it is in a cyclic form so we need to cyclize this squalene to form ranostol so squalene undergoes cyclation by the enzyme the enzyme that catalyzes this reaction of cyclation is, to, is cyclase so cyclase enzyme catalyzes the, cycl the cyclization of squalene to form ranostol and it is this lanosto that we remove, we convert it into cholesterol, which is a 27 carbon. So we see cyclase enzyme cyclizing squarene into lanosto, and this lanosto is the one that is converted into cholesterol, which is a 27 carbon sugar. And this is how cholesterol is synthesized in the liver because we know the food we eat like egg yolk meat butter all those products of animal contain cholesterol but also it is also synthesized in the liver so we have seen the process whereby we need two molecules of acetyl-CoA forming HMG-CoA 
Then this HMG CoA is reduced by HMG reductase, which is always inhibited by statins. We have said statins inhibit HMG CoA reductase. HMG CoA reductase to form an environment that whenever someone takes these drugs called statins, there is an inhibition of conversion of HMG CoA to an environment, hence stopping synthesis of cholesterol. And remember, So remember this compound is the one that is resulting into synthesis of cholesterol. So this is what we can talk about, whereby we have said the isoprenoid units formed, which is a five carbon substance, they combine the two of them to form geranyl, which is a 10 carbon, then converted to phenicyl, which is a 15 carbon, where you bring another more isoprenoid unit, and then two molecules of phenicyl with a phosphate. They combine to form squareine. And this squareine is a linear substance of 30 carbon units which undergoes cyclation, cyclization to form lanosto. And lanosto will cleave off the three carbon to remain with 27. Because you're converting from 30 to 27. That is what we call about cholesterol metabolism. Thank you so much for listening. That is cholesterol synthesis. Thank you so much for always following us on our channel. Keep subscribing. Those who haven't subscribed, like our video and keep sharing to build our channel. Thank you so much.